What is going on you guys? Welcome back to Hyperboost. I know I've been on an upload binge lately. This is like the third video in three days, but I just can't help it. Sorry, it's one of those things that I just have to do. Especially now where I know the Evo is really where I want it to be when it comes to its looks. And as you can see, no more red stripe. Boy, she looks sinister, boys. Look at that. She looks so sinister back to where it was before. Plus with that wrap onto the side. So basically, I get the best of both worlds. I get what I want. So I get the wrap on the side, plus I get the sinister look. Again, as I said before, I'm a little uh, on the down low at this point, right? So anyway, today I wanna take you guys for a drive real quick around my neighborhood. And um, I wanna talk about my wheels. So everybody kind of hates on uh, so th this wheel brand, but I'm telling you guys, uh, this is something that I really honestly truly believe just for the fact that I've been uh, with these guys since, good Lord, the 1980s. So anyway, I'm dating myself. Let's go to the drive real quick. All right, boys, we're gonna do the uh, cold start, but from inside the car. I'm inside the garage, so you're probably gonna hear quite a bit of noise. But once we start pulling out, it's not going to be as bad. All right, neutral. Testing. Prime the fuel pump. System ready. And oil pump. Make sure that everything's ready to roll. Beeping's gone. And cold start. Boy, <laughs> wow, that sounds really good, guys. My goodness, that sounds awesome. Boy, that sounds so loud. Wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow, boy. I love the way that car sounds. It's absolutely amazing. It literally sounds like a supercar. It sounds like a V8. You hear that? Oh, my. That's insane. <laughs> guys look at that oh my goodness so badass I love it love the way she looks now oh, I already got love bugs boys oh my goodness I hate love bugs I can't stand these things for you guys who don't know and who are not from Florida, we have these things called love bugs. And twice a year they come out, spring and fall. And their whole job is to basically just breed and make a bunch of other love bug babies to destroy the car. Now, when I say destroy the car, what it does is basically, when these things splatter in front of your car, you better clean it real quick. Why? Because their, their blood, is highly acidic and they will eat through your paint within a couple of days especially if it dries out in this hot Florida sun you usually use um, dryer sheets wet dryer sheets like a bucket of water a little basin of water and from here you're going to use wet dryer sheets you're gonna dip the dryer sheets in the bucket of water till they're soaked and then you just kind of start rubbing the areas where you have the love bug splatters all over the front of your car just to take them off they are a pain in the butt to take off if you do not use the proper uh, cleaning materials so just a little tidbit look at that view boys amazing view look at that that's awesome anyway look at that there she is all that sinister glory. I still love that. That's great. Man, Tommy from Raptors hooked me up. Beautiful. That is so sick. You know, and thank you guys for, for saying that, by the way. That's not my word. Somebody else said this. Super nice Evo 10 running Rota wheels. Oof. Okay. Now, guys. Um. Okay, no, no hate. Oh, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm not hating on people who say that. Yeah, why are you running rotor wheels? Okay, the, the cheap, blank wheels that 
you know, that you're running on your Evo and, you know, that thing will fall apart if you hit a pothole. Um, okay, first of all, my experience is my experience and I'm not going to uh, basically try to um, uh, discredit other people's experiences when it comes to their own cars. Guys, I've had rotor wheels forever, okay? I ran rotor wheels on four different cars and one of them uh, was my I guess my most powerful car that I've ever owned I had a Nissan 300 twin turbo a 1993 twin tur twin turbo Z uh, that was actually displayed at uh, hot import nights in Baltimore Maryland uh, that was a beautiful car it was fast it was I mean just insanely fast I ran Koenig wheels on that car and I just had nothing but problems with that again my personal experience nothing on Koenig I that's not that's not my my whole point of this it's just that my personal experience with these wheels with that specific wheel okay is not as good as my experience with roto wheels I've had roto wheels on my 300 ZX I had uh, roto wheels on my Nissan Sentra Spec V that I auto crossed all the time I had a set on this and I also had a set on my Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 2 and uh, so guys I really had nothing but good experiences with Rota wheels and you know you've seen all these guys that are like you know pictures of of the wheel actually coming off the spokes and things like that the barrel coming off the spokes I uh, yeah like I said I am not here to discredit anybody's um, experience with Rota wheels and and your experience is yours and mine is mine I've never had any problems with these wheels in fact um, the only reason why I still buy Rota wheels is because number one they are certified by a Japanese certification agency uh, the Japanese don't quote me on this but I think it's still the Japanese aluminum wheel testing center or something like that and but uh, anyway all wheels that get tested here go through the same rigorous testing as Vogue Racing and and all the other wheel companies that are out of Japan like Arc and all these other you know uh, wheel companies that come out of there anybody who wants to get tested there can get tested there but their wheels have to stand the rigorous impact and all these other testing uh, 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 categories that they have to uh, meet in order to get the certification and Rhoda has had it for a while now in fact they just renewed their certification I think last year or this year something like that you can find it on the internet but for me the best bang for the buck when it comes to just the actual look of the the wheel in itself uh, I, I can't beat rotor wheels for the price and also another thing that people don't understand is if you notice all those people that ran rotor wheels ran rubber band tires on them okay they ran rubber band tires, really small 35 series tires. On these, I, I'm running a Cooper RS3, uh, Xeon RS3, 245 by 40 by 18. A lot of meat on the tires, guys, okay? So that, that also has a lot to do with how your wheel is going to stand up to potholes and curbs and all these other things. I mean, yeah, you're, you, yeah, that's a lot of meat and a lot of people don't like the meat on the tires. I like meat on the tires because I like my cars to be able to perform and run a lot smoother and quieter. So again, please, no hate. I'm just like asking people, you know, that, that I mean, I'm just telling you guys that this is just my experiences with my, with wheels. I've had plenty, okay? I have end keys, okay? I had the end key mesh with the, you know, the gold center. I, I really didn't have any issues with those wheels either. But, you know, again, you hit something, it dents, nobody knows how to fix them. Now they, you know, there's a ton of them, but I just feel like at this point in time, Roto wheels are, you know, probably the best bang for the buck for me. Uh, I got these at, uh, from uh, a uh, web page or a website. He's on Instagram, actually, Wheel Dude, okay? Uh, and, uh, you know, he's got a whole set of different ones from all applications, uh, all different sizes, and again, rotor wheels for me, best thing that I've, you know, best thing that I've, I've actually used. So anyway, guys, little drone uh, action for you guys. So check this out.
one thing that I honestly love about my Evo is its ability to adapt to situations when it comes to your driving style. You can drive it hard if you want, it'll stay with you. It's very forgiving. Um, it's not a crazy car. I guess you can make it as crazy as you want. But this car is absolutely amazing to adapt to your own driving style. Um, any novice or professional can drive this car. Again, it's very simplistic, which is, again, I mentioned before, I love the simplicity of this car. that sound guys because even inside with the AC on blowing cold AC in this hot floor today it's still very very sporty and fun to drive Ooh. man you guys hear the little pop there amazing guys anyway this is the outro to the video i'm so sorry it's a little late of an upload because i just kind of got involved with something that had to do with my camera which i need tomorrow so in any case today uh, this is the outro to this video anyway thank you so much for the like for the share and the subscribe of my channel and i sincerely appreciate that uh from the bottom of my heart it really helps me out a lot when you guys you know press that thumbs up button and so just keep pressing away and uh, just, it really helps me out quite a bit. So hopefully you guys like the video and uh, please comment below on what you guys wanna see next time on the uh, Mitsubishi or any type of collabs. Speaking of collabs, I got something tomorrow for you guys. So anyway, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Hyper Boost, Pete Navarro, I'm out.